Okay, so we're going to do the organs. Every organ has a mechanical component and an electrical component. So with this exercise, the hands are going to be recharging the organs, the electrical component, and the movement and breathing is going to help with the mechanical side. Okay? So you're going to take your left hand and you're going to put it on your trap. You can either do it on the same side or cr across your body, whichever is more comfortable for you. Your right hand, find your belly button. You're going to going to go two inches to the right, one inch down, and you'll find a little ball there, and that's your ileocecal valve. This gets blocked, specifically with glyphosate, which you can find in non-organic food, and it's responsible for constipation, bloating, digestive issues, autoimmune diseases. Okay, so we're gonna just release this area here electrically and mechanically. So, with your fingers, you're going to torque the skin Okay, almost like you see me twisting my shirt here. You're turning the skin like that on that valve. And look to the left, rotate your upper body to the right and take six deep breaths through the mouth. Breathe right into that hand. to center. Okay, now we're going to do the gallbladder. So slide right up under the rib on the right side. Okay, so you've got your gallbladder, your liver, and a bit of your intestines here. You're going to torque the fascia, rotate your upper body to the right, your head to the left, and breathe. You can also do the sitting down or lying down. Whatever's more comfortable. Good, and after six breaths or once you feel it relaxed, you can come back to center. Take your right hand, you're gonna slide it over under the rib cage on the left side, right by your stomach. You've also got your liver that overlaps a little bit there. And you're gonna pull the fascia to the right Rotate your upper body to the right, head to the left, and breathe. Three more breaths. Good, come back to center. You're gonna slide your hand down about two inches. Okay, that's right on your intestines, your pancreas. And you're gonna pull up on the fascia, rotate to the right, head to the left, and breathe. Good, come back to center. Now you're gonna slide your hand down right to your pubic bone, and slightly above it, you'll find your bladder. Okay, you're gonna pull up on your bladder, rotate your upper body to the right, head to the left, and breathe. Lean back a little bit if you like. Rotate the other way as well. Good, and come back to center. Okay, shake your arms out. Now we're gonna do our kidneys. So take your left hand and go right on your rib cage and just give it a nice squeeze. Take your right hand and you're gonna put it on your trap and you're gonna breathe right into that rib. Nice deep breaths.
A lot of the time you'll find people with one kidney larger than the other. All the restriction in the rib here. As you breathe, you'll feel a decrease in size. Good, and now you're gonna slide slightly below the ribs, closer to the spine, right on the spleen there, okay? And deep breath. Good. Shake your hands out. Take your right hand, grab your right rib cage, and give it a little bit of a squeeze. Okay. Take your left hand, put it on your trap, and breathe into the ribs. Good, now we're gonna do the thyroid. So take your right hand, place it on your neck. Just pull slightly up on the fascia on the neck, not too hard, and hold it there and breathe. This can help with hypo or hyperthyroid. Okay, last one, we're gonna bring it all together. So take your right hand and put it on your heart, your left hand on your head, and breathe. Focus all your attention on your heart. Now all your attention on your head. back down to the heart. And to the head. And relax. Whew. Feel nice and calm. Go for a walk.